Hello everyone. I am Dr. Palaj Lambert, GR3 from the Department of Radio Diagnosis, MGMS, Seva Gram I am here to pre present a paper on overuse of CT scan head in minor head trauma patients in emergency department, a study in tertiary care hospital of Central Rural India. CT scan is an important diagnostic tool in many emergent conditions. However, it might be overused in many healthcare systems. This might lead to a significant drain on healthcare resources as well as increases of radiation exposure. There are many methods and criteria for evaluating the appropriateness of healthcare services. Proper decision principles can not only decline the cost and the number of performed imaging, but also decreases the emergency and radiology wards over time. Objectives are to identify a list of indications for utilization of CT scan in patients with minor head trauma and to determine the level of appropriate use of these indications for CT scan in minor head trauma patients in emergency department. Materials and methods. Trauma management starts with determination of the patient GCF in the initial assessment. This can is apparently correlated with severity of damage happening inside the skull. Besides, it can be measured with sufficient reliability by the healthcare provider. Therefore, GCS is widely accepted measure of severity of neurological trauma. GCS for between 3 to 12 is considered a, uh, is uh, accepted in major head injury, while the score 13 to 15 is uh, seen in minor head injury. Head CT scan in patients with minor head trauma, that is GCS of 13 to 15, was necessary only when one or more clinical risk factors were observed. Abnormal CT findings include the result that required neurosurgical care. It can be observational or interventional. Study settings. Hospital-based retrospective observational study was performed. Ethical committee clearance was taken. The setting, it was done in a uh, setting of MDMS Ayagram Varta, Rural Medical School and Tertiary Healthcare Center. Studies updates. Cases, all patients who come to emergency department with minor head trauma and underwent CT scan of head during the period of September 21 to September 22. Inclusion criteria, GCS score of 13 to 15, age more than uh, three years and minor head trauma during the past 12 hours. Study setting, overall 1832 individuals from both genders were recruited from September 21 to September 22. The restricted checklist was used to obtain the information from selected patients to patient medical record and patient CT scan report. Information collected in a structured performer. This is shown in this diagram. Uh, the information like age, GCS, history of unconsciousness, history of vomiting, history of post traumatic convulsion, ENT plate, signs of skull based fracture, alcohol intake, open or cl closed skull fracture, and black and white taken. Collected data were analyzed using SPSS Volume 19 software for Windows. Chiasphere and Fisher's exact test were used to evaluate the statistical significance. We quantified the strength of association using the odds ratio. Results of 1832 patients, 64% study subjects were male. The patient's average age was 33.7 plus minus 5.2 years. Approximately 84.2% of CT findings were normal. This is represented by this pie diagram. Among the study participants, 34% patients had no indication and 66% patients had at least one indication for the CT. GCS 15 and 13 were uh, shown in this pie diagram. In terms of abnormal CT findings, the difference between patients with GCS score of 13 to 14 and patients with GCS score of 15 was statistically significant. In case of GCS 15, normal CT scan was uh, observed in case of 96.3% of patients. In case of GCS 13 and 14, normal CT scan were observed in 58.5% of patients. Abnormal CT head in GCS 13 to 14 uh, can be uh, seen in some patients, and this can be seen in the form of EDH, SDH, SAH, cerebral contusions, skull fractures, or diffuse cerebral edema. This is shown in this diagram. The first diagram is showing the SDH with midline shift. Second diagram showing large EDH. Third diagram showing SH, while the fourth diagram showing the skull fracture. This is 
also depicted in the form of bar diagram and shown uh, with respect to age, unconsciousness, vomiting, conversion, ENT bleed, alcohol intoxication, black eye, and without indication. The proportion of cases meeting criteria for CT for each of the guideline was CCHR 64.7%, NIC is 86.7% and NOC 90.5%. The odds ratio of the guidelines for predicting positive head CT findings were also reported. This is the bar diagram which shows the uh, CT head finding in case of CCHR, NIC and NOC criteria. Variation with duty timing. As compared to daytime, the number of normal CT findings were more in night timing minus head trauma patient. And this is depicted in the bar diagram. Variation with the speciality. The majority of cities were requested by CMO, followed by surgery GR1, surgery SR consultants, and ENT specialists. A comparison between CMO and surgeon ENT specialists would order city showed that CMO ordered city in minor victim operation 2.5 times more than surgeons and ENT specialists. This is shown in this uh, bar diagram the various uh, faculties ordering CT and what the finding of CT in, uh, in, the, in that case. Moreover, the presence of two indications including vomiting and suspected skull fracture was significantly correlated with abnormal CT findings. Our findings were in line with the findings of the uh, study discussion. 34% of the CTs obtained in emergency department for minor head trauma were not recommended according to the guidelines. Successful implementation of existing guidelines could decrease the CT use in minor head trauma patients by up to 35%, leading to a significant reduction in radiation induced cancers and health care costs. How to overcome this? Provide more senior faculty in night shift. Properly follow the guidelines given. Train the CMO and junior doctors to make proper decisions for CT aid in minor head trauma patients. And use ALARA principle. Thank you.